Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dying Light 2. In the last video, we took over the base. We kind of got attacked by everyone and pissed everyone off. And uh, now the plan is to reclaim the water tower for the survivors. And hopefully then everyone will be nice and leave me alone. And I'm also trying to figure out how on earth I get up there. I'm assuming with my big old brain that I have to go back inside the building. And then maybe it's something to do with all this. It's blocked off everywhere, man. Absolutely everywhere. It's up. It, oh, no, it's up there. Ah, okay. Good, good thing I kind of stopped trying to get up. Okay, so how am I going to get into there? Let's find out. I like it. It's like a little puzzle every time. Can I climb the rope? No, but I could use the rope to get over there, maybe. It looks terrifying in reality, but we'll uh, we'll have a little look. I think that might be the plan. Or maybe I have to use that rope to jump onto that rope. And then use that rope to jump onto there. I suspect that is the case. Let's find out. May well die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing twice, just in case. Heave! Uh, oh, I really didn't think I was going to make that. I'm pretty sure that I didn't get... Wait, okay. I'm pretty sure I got... Oh. Where am I... Is that a thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I never bloody... No oh, honey. Oh, okay. So this is the uh, Knight Rider generator. Knight Runner hideout. In possibly the most useless place you could ever have a night when I hide out. Why would I ever come up here? God only knows. But whatever. <laughs> Actually, it's so pointless. I love it. Is this right? Guess we'll find out. Nope. <laughs> it was either jump off the top of the crane or use the rope. And I wasn't convinced on either. So I thought we'll give it a go. I'm hoping I'm going to respawn at the generator, and that's why the generator is there. Yeah. In retrospect, that made a lot more sense. Shut up. Right, here we go. Our second military airdrop, having never had one before. Now we've got two. With rations and a plain hoodie. And probably another military tech thing, which is uh, currently utterly useless, but eventually won't be. Oh, tons of parkour XP as well. Nice. Very sexy. Whoa, what was that? I saw something. You guys see that? I saw something. Okay, follow-up question. How do I get down? Can I jump on that car? I strongly suspect I can. We're going to find out. <laughs> Shut up, it's science. <laughs> oh, what I should have done is use my binoculars while I was up there. Damn it. Okay, on we go. We're heading to the water tower because we want to reclaim it for the people. I was always liable to side with the people over the peacekeepers because I'm <laughs> becoming an anarchist in my old age. It's funny, I'm actually going backwards. Um, over time, I've become much more political than I was when I was younger. Um, I care a lot more about this kind of thing. And um, so there's, there's demonstrable research proven time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. That um, typically, with age, people become more right-leaning rather than left-leaning. And it's literally because they've got more money. They've got more security themselves. And they've got more to lose through socialism, essentially. So anything that protects their interests, protects them having more cash, is obviously a popular thing. And right-wing philosophies, generally speaking, lean in that direction, right? They tend to support the rich, tend to support the stable. They don't tend to be for everyone. I find that I myself have become more and more left-leaning with time, however. I, I really am going the other direction. I was already, I was always left-leaning. I've voted Labour my entire life. But uh, it's, it's becoming stronger with age. Maybe I'm not rich enough. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of money still. But uh, who knows. What's that there? Let's go find out. 
Oh, I can like scramble up hills. Oh, it's a thing. I like things. Convoy! There we go. Run, 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 run! Do I need to upgrade this weapon again? Uh, yeah. Do indeed. The charm is always pointless, right? Yeah, I don't really know what the charm does. I don't know if it's only like a one-time thing. That's why I'm not doing it. Let's stick a venom shaft on. I should, in retrospect, you should always put the best one on first, right? Well, whatever. Uh, the venom one should be first because venom is better than the flame one. And by putting venom on first, I get more out of the venom. Thank you for the venom. So many zombies. This game has a lot of zombies. That might be a controversial stance I've just taken, but I stand by it, okay? <laughs> I will not have my opinion cancelled. Huh. Looks like he needs stamina to do a takedown. Who knew? All right, let's pop this open, and then we'll pop open the truck, and that should be everything to spawn the baddies. I say baddies. Again, they give me tons of uh, heads, so, you know. It's not all bad. I get annoyed with waiting. So I'm just gonna do some uh, looting now. I keep getting res. I actually don't want res. I've got plenty of res. I need uncommons more than anything else. Also, why are you letting me loot if they're empty? This just shouldn't be a thing. Let's keep this. <laughs> I think I just threw it on the floor instantly, but that's fine. Lovely. What's behind door number two? Here's what you could have won. Antiseptic wrappings. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> I keep calling these virals, but I don't know if that's actually their, their name. It's something like that, though. The Speedy Boys. I hope that's their name. <laughs> that would be a much better name. Instead of the che who likes the cheeky girls? Nobody. You know who loves the speedy boys? Everybody. We are the speedy boys. We are the speedy boys. That'll show you, zombie. Ain't getting here. Yeah. There's so much storyline lately. It's terrifying. I need to distract myself for another, like, five hours. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> he's rusing me. Okay, I think there's a little bit of looting to do over here. Yep. Make sure we get everything. Okay, done. Lovely stuff. Nothing else in the area, right? No, I don't think so. Uh, we're gonna do oh this is quite a distance away actually. I'm gonna get onto the roof and do when we get to the highest point reasonably in the area, probably up here, I'm gonna do a little binocular scan. See if we can find anything else nearby. Can I climb up here? Okay. Oh, even higher. <laughs> even higher. Is that the water tower over there? Is that it? I guess so. I'm definitely jumping off that edge, aren't I? Yeah, I definitely am. <laughs> just just to clarify, can I climb this? Oh, sweet. It's like a little UFO. Right, cool. Let's see what we've got here. Something around here. Yo. Finally found the electricity. After a really long time. <laughs> okay, and that brings water. So remember how the um how the uh the taps weren't working? I guess we're gonna get that sorted now. This needs better, by the way. It doesn't react differently. Until you get, like, right... Basically, there's, like, a radius around it, and it's all the same. And then when you get right on top of it, it works. But until you get right on top of it, it feels pointless. 
Like, all this feels near identical. <laughs> to the point I don't have a clue what I'm meant to be looking at. Oh. I quite like the pulsing. Oh, it's over there. I heard that. That's what I'm looking. That's what I'm looking for. That little click noise. Oh, sweet. That's the other electrical station. Right, I should have been doing this ages ago. <laughs> Feels silly having not done this. Little scan. If you don't see the the wires, what's that? Huh. If you don't see not the wires, the the sort of side panel effects come in. It means it's not in there. Seemingly. Okay, I wonder if they weren't accessible until, like, recently. Where was that thing? Wait, isn't it? Oh, where's it gone? Where's the electricity thing gone? Is it, is it, oh, is it this one that I saw now? Where the hell is it? <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm crazy. Cool. All right, let's go. I'm a little perplexed, ladies and gentlemen. Did I just scan the thing in this direction? And that was just... just... weird. <laughs> It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. <sighs> the doubt he just That's taller up like than that. I thought. Read him, please. He was talking. We'll never understand why I can't force these logs. I'm sure there's something Damn. I'm missing. But at this moment, I'm not really sure what it is. Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. What? Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to farm the charges. How did I find that out? <laughs> oh, right. I can see the bomb. <laughs> just thought I just had this psychic intuition, basically. Oh, well, it's good. It's good that Aiden's paying attention, even if I'm not. I suppose. Okay, so I guess we're trying to, yeah, disarm all of these. Hmm. I mean, that seems a bit aggressive. You lost. Just take the L, as the kids say, as the kitty winks say. You know, you don't need to blow everything to shit. You know, <laughs> just be chill, Jack and Joe. That's what you get for being called Jack and Joe, quite frankly. Sounds like a children's show. Uh, is that not the right way? Apparently not. Okay. I'm climbing. I feel like I'm climbing. On the explosives. <laughs> Off we go. Probably that way. Probably not that way. Probably this way. I just, I just, I just saw. Just as I plummeted to the earth, I, I saw where I'm going. It's nice that they've set the tower up. And there we go. Am I going towards it? I probably am, right? Yeah, it's nice that they've set the tower up for parkour. I'm sure that was part of their design philosophy. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like bashing through with a fiery weapon about an inch from an explosive is uh, not the smartest thing I've ever done. Likely not the... Oh, I can climb this. Likely not the stupidest as well, must be said. available. What? I swear sometimes you get more than one because I just upgraded, right? Like literally basically just upgraded. I'm going to go stamina again and then we'll go health. The idea was meant to be two, one, two, one. I haven't really been... Oh no. 
I've become too powerful. I think. <laughs> I mean, surely you're not guaranteed to see that, right? What if you don't pick up the inhibitor? I, mean, I don't know why you wouldn't pick up the inhibitor, but I'm sure some people miss it. Or they're doing no inhibitor playthroughs. Eh! Okay, I can climb the explosives. What is my stamina now? 260! So like I said, we need 300 though. That's why I've been going stamina heavy, because I know we need more stamina for the... Uh, for the towers. And really, when's the last time I was on low health? Quite frankly, it's been a while. I will start pointing points of health, I'm just not there yet. Allons-y! This is fine. Oh, yep, that's fine. That's science. <laughs> Made it after all. Of course the fuck is up. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. I can't fight everything like that. That's why it's time for fireworks. But nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Hey. Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone? I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So... Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. You know one's gonna die here anyway. Can I pause it? <laughs> I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now. Goodbye, Bazaar. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... you did this? You pay for that. Come on, Aiden. Want some water? I'll drown you in it! You got nowhere to run! I need to run, pal. Oh, I could have stomped! That would have been cruel. <laughs> Never killed a pilgrim before. Counter failed. I don't think it has been. If I'm honest. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. 
You won't take us alive. I'm trying to take you alive. <laughs> So, I went in thinking I'll keep them alive. I really did. My oh, Jack's still alive. That was really my plan. But as soon as he said, um, get us out of the city or we'll blow it up, I got annoyed. Like, like, yeah, I'll help you. But as soon as you threaten me, you're like, I, I, your opportunity's over, right? You have, to, you have to be chill or I'll kill you, <laughs> I guess was the idea. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should have let them out. But I feel like leading them out. They were bad people at the end of the day, right? They were very bad people. They they were gonna blow everyone up. They were gonna kill everyone, and they were de denying water to people. So I got the information and then killed them. I'm okay with that. I think. I was uh, leaning so towards saving them, but they annoyed me. Smart guy, who gets control of the water? Stop making me make decisions. Stop. When you assign a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. When a faction takes over a zone, it introduces structures. Peacekeepers install focused tra combat focused traps while the survivors build parkour helpers. The help makes traversal easier. The more facilities you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets so it can install even better structures. The current state of Sicily. Okay. Okay. So, car traps. PKs install car traps in all zones that they create. Can I see what else to get? And bring water to the zone. And zip lines. That's cool. Bring water. Okay, so let's... I'm already leaning in a direction, but let's have a look what the benefits are as more things get added, right? So, as we assign more things to the peacekeepers, what are we going to get? We've got car traps. We've got a peacekeeper razor cannon, which is... A turret, apparently. <laughs> Electrical traps. Uh, Molotov lantern. When hit with projectile, Molotov lanterns will fall and set fire to a huge area. Okay. Crossbow, man. Pendulum traps. Colossal pendulum traps can mow down whole groups of enemies behind them. That does look very cool. <laughs> I like that. And UV trap. UV traps are very helpful during a chase. Acting both as a trap for infected and an additional source of UV light. Okay. Other way. Zip lines. Which is cool, I think. Uh, jump over high walls instantly using airbags installed in survivor zones. We've seen a few of those. Uh, landing bags cushion your fall, allowing you to reach the ground quickly and safely. Oh, wow. Okay. When you fall, fail, fall in a survivor zone, a helping hand will revive you close to the point you fell. Air vents. Improved air vents that increase your mobility with the paraglider. Spoilers. Whee! Okay. Uh, upgraded air backs that let you jump higher. <laughs> Boink. Okay. And two-way zip lines. That let you travel upward. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. I've been looking for that. Um, However. Okay, so if I'm totally honest, I think gameplay-wise, I would actually lean towards the peacekeepers. I don't think the traps are really my thing, but I want the crossbow. However, I don't want I don't like gamifying stories decisions. I think you should decide based on your your feeling, your morality, and how you feel about the story and the characters. So uh Barney's an idiot. But Barney's not in charge. Sophie's in charge, and Sophie seems fairly smart. I don't really like I, this is the problem, I don't really like any of them. I like Sophie and I like Ator from both sides. That's about it. <laughs> the peacekeepers are very authoritarian, and you would think the survivors are separate from that, but you listen to how the survivors talk, and they have quite a lot of that authoritarian, rule-breaking kind of philosophy built into them. Mm. Mm. However, I'm leaning the way I'm leaning because the peacekeepers denied water to the survivors, to the people of the bazaar, and left them to die.
It's LT. Oh! The central loop. So that's Survivor, that's Peacekeeper, and then there's a purple one. Renegades. Once a peaceful residential complex, the area is now home to the Renegades and their ruthless leader, Colonel Chris Williams, aka The Butcher. That does not seem like someone I'm going to go for. <laughs> Here you'll find the various city rewards received by assigning zones to factions to assign a zone to find its facility, activate it and assign it to the faction. Okay. So. So. Where is that bloody electrical tower <laughs> that I definitely saw? I saw one in Houndfield, I swear. Can I still not get up there? I need free just stamina for all of this. Houndfield is quite a high level zone, though. I swear I saw two. What about that? What's that? No. Am I crazy? Might be. Hmm. 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 Hack on. Hey, then. Where the fuck are you? Here he comes. Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Good Hotel evening, Tango. Aiden. I'll make sure the place is safe. Oh, go! Uh, right, what do we want? I got wall combo. But wall combo seems pointless until I get wall run. So that's a possibility. Run upwards on vertical surfaces. I can see that. What I think I want is ledge jump. Hmm, maybe not. I do want slide. I can't believe that costs a skill point, though. <laughs> eh. Eh. It might be this one. Dash. Hmm. Bash. Uh, rotate jump? Uh, I don't really like any of them. Um, I can see wall run being useful quite a lot. Right? Just, just for my general climbing ability? Yeah, I'm going to go for wall run. Got a cap on. Baller. <laughs> okay, um, I want the craft master. Where's the craft master? Inside me, bro. Is that? You know, this used to be a bell tower. I don't know if I can fall off here safely or not. It's very hard. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> a little apprehensive, regardless. Not gonna lie. Let's let's go down the normal way, shall we? Man, scan. Just bloody work, please. Breaking my heart here. I can't find the craft master because I can't bloody use the scan button. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. Thank you. Right, he's down there. He's miles away. Infected got him. Serves him right, you asked me. Can I do this? Nope. <laughs> it didn't look that bad. Why do I call for help? Save me! Save me! Save me! I revived at dawn. I'll use the bloody witch. <laughs> I guess. Not happy about it though. Okay, well, this is actually a new craft master. So, oh, hello. What have you got? You've got nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I can grab some bits. Okay. Oh, God, that's so expensive. Uh, right, so what else do I want to upgrade? Molotovs are definitely an option. I don't have that many. I've got so many rares and so few uncommons. Uh, lockpicks don't really care about upgrading. I really like that weapon grip mod. I think that's a really strong one. I want to upgrade everything. <laughs> I 
I mean, I could upgrade more if I don't go for the high level ones, but I really like, I'm going to upgrade this one. I really like this one. It's going to just let my strong weapons last a lot longer. I think I'm going to stop doing it though, because I'm thinking about it and there's no point upgrading the durability of these strong weapons if the mods on those weapons suck, right? What's the point? Normally I like a cat fight, but bloody hell. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night, someone stole Teresa's flower. All of it. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. You think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? Well, that's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. How much do they fork over for the water? She'll be near a shop. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Don't fork over anything for the water. Finally found a great place to live. Dick. <laughs> right above a damn dark zone. There's a shop at. Oh, there's quests everywhere. I guess that makes sense. This, you know, this pilgrim. Hello. It's so sexy. <laughs> I don't. I don't need weapons at the moment, though. No. <laughs> I really don't need weapons right now. Man, Herman's bludgeon. Okay. Uh, although I've only got three. The idea was to always have four, right? That was always the plan. kind of wish there was a quick way to do this. I'm not going to lie. But those three weapons are going to last me a long time. And I can always come to a shop later on. I don't think there's any reason to worry about it right now. Hmm. Yeah, I liked the gear score kind of aspect on that, but everything else kind of sucked. Uh, no way for you. What about you, though? I get 7%. <sighs> but no, I don't think so. You're a no. You're a no. You're a no. You're a no. No survivals. Cool. Any decent? No, not really. Gonna stay stuck to the nines, folks. There we go. Be declared a saint. You just bear with me. <laughs> I swear I bought everything and there's another oxidizer there. Yeah. Or at least the new leader of the bazaar. Anyone will be better than Carl. Sometimes I yeah. wake up at night and forget. You're probably right. Okay. Um smile. I see it. God. Okay. <laughs> right, so what I really want is to turn the bloody power on because I want to get these metro lines on the go. You can go search Barney stuff. Now. So what we're going to do, we're going to hop up a little bit higher. I should have done this when I was up on the building now that I think about it, but it's too late for that. The Nox. What are they? Are these? Where is... Okay, is that it there? Artist Workshop. Getting close to something. Come on. Come on. It's here somewhere. It's in this region. And this is really obnoxious. <laughs> Is this really the best system they could come up with? Oh. It's around here. Oh, 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 there it is. Okay. Oh, I need a power glider for that. Okay, new windmill, that's cool. Oh. Okay, I, just want, I, I really want to turn the power. I found! I'm not crazy. <laughs> I found two electrical things. Yet yeah, there's only one on the map. Am I crazy? Maybe I am crazy. <laughs> I 
hate this. <laughs> oh. See you somewhere. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. What level is that? I think it's level one. Oh, I've already done that one, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Is that the main quest? No, that's a side quest as well. Where's the main quest? That's the main quest. Okay, I think uh, we've done quite a lot of story. I think I can chill a little bit. We can go do this. We can do that. We can do this. Three side quests over here. I think there's a lot to do in Houndfield, although Houndfield scares me a little. It's all high level. <laughs> uh, I think we can probably get up the hospital now as well. Cool. What time's it, actually? I have no idea when I started this video. I think it was quarter two, so this should be about 45 minutes, but actually no idea. Good morning, Pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for... for the water? I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. I'm devastated. Really. And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to. But who else could it be? She was storing it for me. To keep it safe, she said. And now, it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her, I swear I would. Lord is my witness, if she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest, too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now... Now we'll starve. How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. Seems like a solid friendship. Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but it was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. Okay. I thought about it. I'm going to do it. In me, he's a friend in in the old days. Now I couldn't name a single one. It's like the virus. Hello. You're adorable. <laughs> No side quests have quite matched up to that one where that guy, his mother, was a bucket thing. Can you remember what I'm talking about? Hey, Anna. Hey, she lives in the water tower. Anna, I just want to talk. Go away. Talk to me, and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. Fuck her. And fuck you. Rude. Anna. Anna. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm assuming there's a way to drop in from above. Let's do a little climbing. Oh, that was just. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you really need to work on your security. Please just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty, my drinking problem, or that I'm a heinous flower thief. I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Aww. Since the fall, we've been close. 
I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed. Suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed, near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and... Nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa. Or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets. Untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Or well, looked at by somebody with a special magical it's button. Can <laughs> I get out through the foot now? Yeah. To the shed! To the wall. Wait, what did I get in my parkour? Already forgotten. Wall one? Yeah. Let me just try it out. Okay, well, it's not going to help in that situation, is it? But, like, here... I mean, I think I can jump on there anyway. Wait, no, I definitely can't, right? So, can I get up there with wall one? Let's find out. Yeah, okay, already a little bit useful, and you can get one where they should roll one and jump, which is even better. Doors unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. Investigate. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. Mm, footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Detective Aiden, on the case. I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat. I'm on the beat. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. On the beat. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Okay. Weird. I mean, it leads in here. <laughs> Where are those footprints facing? Oh, I have to. <laughs> Trail ends here. Okay. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. Oh, no. Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. Or made copies. So you do think it was me? Or your husband. Calm down and think. Who else would do this and why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. We've met him before, Aiden, right, you know. Changed characters numpty. in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. Uh, I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more, or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. I'm on the beat! What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately he's been quiet. Like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, 
I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps, so be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. I really didn't expect this quest to be quite so involved. <laughs> oh, all I'm doing really is walking around and talking to people, don't get me wrong, but... It's long. Okay, well there's one way to go. That's Mars way. It's Dodger. That's the kid. Is that the kid? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll go grab this. I'm not going to just run across the world to do another quest. Madness. Oh, hello, Lux Spike. Oh, are you ending, or are we just, are we just playing like this now? Because <laughs> I feel like that's that's what's going on here. We're just... Man, it did this before. The, the FPS just dropped to nothingness, and it just stayed like that. I'm going to pick up this quest and we'll end it, because... Oh, no, it's fixed. <laughs> we'll go to run away. Hello, Lightning. Yo, what's up? So you've heard about me? Sure, who hasn't? Yeah, I'm a fucking legend. What are they saying? Any hot chicks asking about me? So many. Oh man, plenty. All dreaming to meet the legend. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my life. What can I say? Providing the fastest water delivery on the rooftops gives you celebrity status. I have also the most diverse selection. Still water, sparkling water, lavender flavor, honey flavor, even Urtica flavor. It's Wait, Urtica. What? Urtica flavor? Who knows? But it sounds intriguing, right? It's called marketing. People drink it up. Doesn't matter what it is, but if it sounds fresh and different, they want it. So, did you come here to challenge me? To get your ass kicked by Fabulous Sadio? Well, I know I have no chance, but to be defeated by you would be an honor. Darn right it would, men. So, when you're ready, take these bottles for a brisk run. Just try not to break your legs. Okay. It's another challenge one, isn't it? I do like the parkour challenges. Uh, how close am I to leveling up? <laughs> it's it's going to turn... I'm not... Close, surely, yeah, miles away. It is. It parkour is taking it's, it's taking a bit of a leap ahead. Um. Okay. I don't know why I'm saying okay. I feel like I was about to say something, and I forgot all of it. Man, I really wish I could just clear the inventory. Um. Oh, I need to stretch. <sighs> right, we'll end it there because I think this is around the same time, the right time. I actually have no idea. This could be super early or super late. God only knows. There was a lot of talk before the game came out about how your decisions are impactful. Now, I can see how choosing a direction for the waterfall has an impact on the forthcoming story. But they, they emphasize very much that your decisions would change how the city is formed and what content is available to you. And that it was only possible to see about 60% of the content that the game has to offer in a single playthrough. I suspect what that meant is because, as you've just seen here at this water tower for the survivors, I picked up Sometimes I a few related side quests, right? I've got all of these kind of just appeared, except uh, double time. All right. Well, most of these appeared because of that. Um, and obviously the water tower quest we're going to do is probably a little bit different than you would do otherwise. I suspect that's really what they meant. I don't think it's going to be as impactful. At the end of the day, it's just a bunch of side quests. But, um, I'm really annoyed about this energy thing. I need to go back and check. Maybe I only ever found one. Maybe I'm just bloody stupid. Maybe I found one over here. I bloody did and all. <laughs> oh, it's only level two. I really thought this area was going to be higher. Level two, level two. Why is Houndfield higher level than everything else? I'm confused by that. 
Just turning on this one, right? See, it only brings electricity electricity to the zone. So how do I get electricity to everywhere else? How do I get electricity over here and over here and over here? That is my primary question right now. There's still quite a lot to do on this map. We'll get started. The next video, we'll, we'll do some side quests. Maybe we'll do the main quest. I think we'll just be working mainly through these side quests, trying to knock them off the map, do a little bit more exploring. I've done a lot of main quests lately, so... <laughs> Until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers, much love as always. Ooh, mouse. Ooh. Weird stuff. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.